bank account. Now, even if anyone would remember, do they really care? All they care about is how they emptied not only my plates, but my bank account too. All they care about is how they got missing when offer tree was due and reappeared when it was their turn to be served too. Am I a coward? Am I a miser? Well, maybe I am. Maybe I'm not because I know that there is life after the wedding. Oh, yes, there is. There is a lifetime experience after the wedding, and it is called marriage. Now, you may choose to call me a miser for thinking about tomorrow's needs and not today's wants. I admit I'm a coward. If all it needs to be one is to stay for my marriage, not wedding. Impress yourself, my brethren, and go home a happy couple instead of impressing the world and going home a bankrupt double. There is life after the wedding. Oh, yes, there is. And don't be lost on that life lest you become someone else's burden. Now, whom do you borrow to impress? Whom do you waste to impress by your dress? Now, no one will see how many colors you combine to give your wedding a class, but all will see how many factors would combine to leave your marriage a carcass. Why do you spend on expensive assorted drinks when you don't even have a place to call your own? Why do you spend on feeding an entire generation when you don't even have an asset to call your own? Little drops of water, they say, make a mighty ocean. Little savings, I dare say, will make your family one worthy of appreciation. My brother, marriage is not a wedding, and a wedding comes no close to marriage. An expensive wedding is not another word for love. Brother, if you indeed love her, impress her during the marriage. Sister, if you love him indeed, allow him to spend wisely during the wedding. For many have learned this lesson the hard way, and many more will still not listen. Yes, they want to pay. For what is the use of importing that expensive wedding gown, which can build your home's foundation and wait for only a day? Now, you could probably have spent that much if the gown was all she was going to wear all of her lifetime. Now, what on earth is the essence of buying a new pair of wedding shoes worth fortunes when you have a long queue of them never worn in your time? Whose record are you trying to break? Guinness Book of Records or a Lomo Book of Records? Now, who else's attention are you trying to catch after already getting that of your husband? All I'm asking is, why would both of you need a convo of page boys, page girls, bridesmaids, and groomsmen to lead and follow after you when a marriage is about just both of you? Just you two? Are you either politicians or founders of a religion? Now, death is not a friend of man. Man, indeed, is a friend of death. Now, if you don't know your priorities, your needs become your wants, and your wants become your needs, and death becomes your bosom friend. If you don't know your priorities, marriage becomes wedding, and wedding becomes marriage. Marriage is the need. Wedding is the want. Impress yourself. Society don't. Now everyone leaves for their homes after the wedding. You both will too. But make sure you don't do so in want. Else all night when your debt is haunt, while you play hide and seek like an employee and his monthly salary. The next time your guests will call on you would be when they want to make inquiries about when next an ordering is. Probably. As to how you are surviving after the wedding, no one cares to know. Because you are even lucky at your wedding's gift table, one Ghana they did so. My brother, marriage is not a wedding, and a wedding comes no close to marriage. Your choices and demands will make and will make your marriage. You can start life as a hide and seek couple, but that's still your choice to make. Slippets there, you just also watched a lovely poet give us, uh, well, Eugene Evans, I hope I had the name right, yeah, give us that lovely intro poetry there. I have so many questions to ask, but Corbina is also here as well. Corbina, good morning. Good morning, Jay. Okay, so I want to understand the link between the, the, the poetry we just uh, mm. heard mm. and what is going to happen. I want to see you, God. 
Um, so um, I want to go to the Tata. Okay. Yeah, and it's talking about um, how people are quick to blame others or every other person apart from themselves when they run into trouble. You know, and um, it's talking about someone getting married and then um, getting to know that the woman they married was not what they really expected. So then you want to see the person who instituted the, 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 the institution of marriage. Mm. So that's what I want to see you guys all about. Oh, okay. So it's, it dovetails from wedding. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's law. Into the reason why you want to see. Can you see God? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Let's, see. Let's see how it goes. For you, I mean, um, so give us a little big background to yourself and poetry. Yeah. And are you are you part of this play? Yeah, I am. I am. Now, one thing I love about this play is the fact that it's laced with spoken word, mm -hmm. which makes it different. From okay, spoken word. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why do you want to say? Is there a difference? Poetry, spoken word. Well, really, there, there isn't. It's still the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm on the right path. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, so, yeah. so you're saying, yeah. Exactly. So I come to, well, before then, I am an actor, and I'm part of this production. I've been a part of it since 2016. Mm -hmm. and now, this time around, I'm, I am playing the spoken word artist in the stroke and actor. Mm -hmm. So I mm -hmm. give you a brief. So after each scene I come in, mm. that's when I give you um, basically a reflection of what you see, mm -hmm. you know, in the next, in the next scene. See, yeah. Exactly. In, in the, how, how was the poetry or spoken word uh let me just use industry um how is, is it is it is it being patronized does it does it does it sell itself well i mean you are in there mm. i think unlike before it is mm -hmm. i mean now people see the need to have um you know other that just as we yeah. have other creatives yeah. when they have a program coming up we mm. see it because then again just as uh, music does to the soul. Yeah, that's one thing. The voice or the West also does. Coming up, we hardly that. would see mm. spoken word blended into yeah. playwrights, yeah. into stories like yeah. this. What what moved you into yeah. doing so this? So I wanted to do something creative because I, I I think I've seen a lot of plays out there without you know the blend of music, mm -hmm. dance, mm -hmm. the drama itself, and even spoken word. And that's what I wanted to do. So I put everything together in mm. one. And mm. that's what I want to see what it's all about. So have we have you, live music. Yeah, we have um, dance. We have spoken word. We have the drama itself as well. Did yeah. this happen in the in uh, emergency wedding? No. Yeah. Oh. So this, this it means that this, this is yeah, yeah better version of whatever they saw. Does it this wedding. affect ticket prices? Oh no, no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> because of late, the ratings are going up by a percentage. Yeah, I know, right. I was going to wonder, I I was wondering right. whether the addition of of anything. So let's do a quick throwback into emergency wedding. Mm. How, how did it go? How was it? It was, it was awesome. Mm. It was awesome. Yeah, that national theatre and. Um, the, the reviews were amazing, uh -huh. you know, yeah, uh -huh. because you know that we are cancelled it twice, and this was the third time we we're coming. Wow. Yeah. So um, still having that that pace to still keep the fourth, like, despite all the challenges we had, it, it, it was great. Between um, this is a very controversial question mm. between the cinemas, mm. uh, and I'll get your opinion on that as well. Between the cinemas mm -hmm. and um, where we go to, we go and watch post-produced, -pro mm. you know. Uh, movies and live stage performances if you were in the creative arts space as a head I didn't say minister <laughs> or president as a head which one would you would be your focus to promote and push if you're not going to be biased by where you sit well, I think that both of them are relevant. Uh, both of them yes, are they, they are, yes, they are. I don't want, I don't want television answers. Mm. <laughs> yes, they are. Which one, which one would be your? Because um, <laughs> I've heard, I've seen movies called Getting Numbers at Cinemas, and mm. I've seen how uh, playwrights mm. and uh, live stage performances also are able to play about five, six, seven yeah, times, right. and yeah. people are still yeah. you know, yeah. watching as compared to maybe the movie. I shouldn't answer this question. So <laughs> let me ask you, what, 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 which, which would be your? Well, yeah, because probably because where, where I said it and mm -hmm. what I do, I, I would rather invest more in the um, um, in the theater. What would business. be your reason? Because I think that over the t over the years, um, the movie industry has had a, a bit more limelight, so a bit more attention mm -hmm. as compared to um, the theater industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So left for me alone, I think that um, the theater industry also deserves a bit more mm. attention for us mm. to get to where we need to get. To. Because trust me, there are a lot of prospects mm -hmm. in the theater industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because. Um, this could be an opportunity for um, foreigners to even just come to Ghana just to see a play. Mm -hmm. And it's possible. It's possible. It's very possible. Uh, well, what about you? I, I think same. I mean, ah. you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he watches movies a lot, though, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, kind of. But mm -hmm. I mean, I also, I also go for yeah. the stage play because, mm -hmm. I mean, who wouldn't want that intimate life thing? Yeah. 
you choose you choose move. I mean, I mean dating back to concert party and the kind mm. of impact that it made on I remember on Sundays when we would watch it. Was it Sunday evenings? I think so. Yeah. When we watch uh, or Saturdays or so we right. watch concert party mm. and um you know it drew in more it's numbers. A, it's a different feeling mm. when you're watching it live and then when it's already produced. Yeah. So what are your expectations on this new one? Uh, I want to see God. Well, um, it, 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 my expectations are great because, mm -hmm. you know, there are a lot of people out there who are expecting a lot more because of what they saw at Megan's wedding. So um, um, it, it gives us a lot more responsibility to be yeah. able to live up to the expectations. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we've been, we've, been, we've been rehearsing this. We've been, we've been, we've been planning yeah. and strategizing to give our audience there the best. And okay. they should not miss it. They should not. Next week, Saturday and Sunday, I'm not sure. If, if, if Evans didn't play the spoken word of the poet to give us a recap, what role would you have given him in there? Well, Eugene is uh, he's 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 a versatile actor, so okay. I think he can play the role. Any role you give what to are, him. What are the what are the various people in the characters in there, uh, uh, in the storyline? So there is a Ke okay. Kelly, mm -hmm. okay. um, I am a character who um, goes to borrow money to do a wedding with the expectation that he was going to get a lot a lot of money from the gift table, mm -hmm. and yeah, and he's appointed aside. Being people really do that. Oh yeah, they? people oh, yeah, do they that. Do. Yeah, you know. Expect they calculate how much. Yeah, yeah. Doing that. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> and a wedding is not a business, you know. So you can't go take a loan to come do a wedding with the expectation that you're going to get as much or even more than you invested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, and I think that is really what a lot of youth are going through today. What, what is the, uh, whoever Kelly marries, mm. what is the person's, uh, you know, reaction to borrowed loan, borrowed money for a wedding? Uh, okay, so here's her, issue. Well, not, not to give the story too uh, much. Exactly, yeah. Her's issue was the fact that, I mean, when, when we're caught in, we're giving me everything that I wanted and all of that. You saw all the signs and still came for me. So if you got if you got married to me and you feel that okay this is not what I married deal with it. Mm, mm. Yeah. I, I mean people is it wrong to borrow money for a wedding? For a wedding it is it's, 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 yeah, it's yeah, overly needless. <laughs> if you ask me. Oh it's overly needless because it's not a business. You know you don't you don't even just go to, to to start a business. How much more a wedding? The, then again, I think we are, we are too focused now <laughs> on the but events more yeah. than forgetting that right the after the, of the event. Exactly. exactly. The trends and... This excites me and wanted mm. to check out this, I uh, yeah. want to see God. Where now, now, now we put the, the problem on God. Yeah, yeah. 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 you know, <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine. Yeah. Coming up, where do you mm. get these ideas from? What drives uh, you to get these I ideas? I just observe people. Mm. I just observe things around me. I observe things happening on social media. Mm -hmm. I see people um, um, running into troubles just because they were spent, mm. you know, and that's one thing I, I always keep saying. Make sure you go home as a happy couple after your wedding, not a bankrupt double. Mm. Mm. Because every time, no, trust me, no matter how beautiful your wedding is, no one really cares. Mm -hmm. mm. They'll talk about it for two days, three days, that's it, it ends there. Who is, who is the one demanding the money? Who is the one demanding the lavish wedding? The okay. man or the Now woman? it looks like we're giving it too much. <laughs> <laughs> generic, <laughs> generic, too not, much. not for the play, okay. uh, general, ge generally. Who's demanding more? Generally, well, as guys who say ladies, oh, okay. but the yeah. ladies also say the guys. <laughs> now I'm asking that for a reason, because, so who will be the one to forgive? <laughs> <laughs> when problems come, and that's my going to be my first dance against right. the final debate, I'm coming at 8 o'clock when we do, um, who is uh, the, the, the impact of unforgiving, mm -hmm. uh, being unforgiving in a relationship or in a marriage, was going to be very interesting. But then let me just take your, your mm. cue on that. Do you think women forgive more than men or men forgive more than women? Uh, how funny. I think men forgive more. And not on the fact that, thank God MFA is not here, but <laughs> just on the fact that, not about intimacy, but generally mm. in, a, in, a, in a day or in a week in a home, I mean, I think a lot of men will not be loud. They will let things slide. Yeah, yes, a lot I, of yeah. minor, minor things and mm. be forgiving. Hmm. About those things that you know, it's okay. You shall listen, but if I go talk right now, <laughs> you go, that's, you go that's, that's my true. opinion. What about you? Do you think men forgive more in relationships well, or women forgive more in relationships? It depends on the gravity of whatever has been done because this can affect your play. Your play. <laughs> <laughs> well, because you know that, for example, for example, a, a, a woman can, can forgive a cheating man, uh -huh. but the man cannot for, forgive a cheating but that's, woman. But that's only cheating, though. Cheating is one aspect of the whole government, yeah. And that's why I said the gravity because you know, there, there are other minor ones that anyone can just let it slide, but. Well, when ladies, to, yeah. come and watch this play. We're very excited. When is it playing again? And when? Uh, how do I get tickets? On the 5th and 6th of March of at the National Theatre. So okay. two shows said that we have 3 p.m. and 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so and um, my ticket is going for 60 cities. Mm -hmm. um, anyone who wants to get some can get um, one at um, Silver Bed, so okay. at a yeah. Mall. Yeah, or they can also get it online by dialing star 725 hash and yeah. follow the prompts and that get it. Right. And anyone who can't make it, 
You can live stream. Okay. Yeah, so you can live stream on our website, www.scribeproductions.com, mm. and view it wherever you are. You have a lot of men in the room, and the women will go will sit at home and scream. Ah, I bet she said, he says that women are unforgiving. <laughs> so the men should go and work. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you for having for uh, us. A lovely, you. Um, you know, performance on there. Can't wait to see that, you, you know, what happens you. in the players. Well, I've been talking to Evans and Kopina. Uh, mm. It's an upcoming play. It's I Want to See You God. You don't mm. want to miss it. 5th and 6th of March. Why would you want to miss that on such great days like that? Well, let's jump into Prime Sports and let's check out some of the highlights from the games over the week. Hello and a warm welcome to Eastern Spain for this UEFA Champions League round of last 16 first leg match between Villarreal and Juventus. The first time these two clubs have met.